Hello, Seth here from macOS10screencasts.com. In this review, I'd like to show you the mind mapping application MindNote. You can get this application at mindnote.com. There's a free and a paid version of this application as well as a, a application for the iPod Touch or iPhone. I have MindNote already open here and what the basic idea of mind mapping is that you create uh, your main idea, your center idea in the center of your canvas. In here I'd like to show you the MindNote review. And first of all I'd like to show you some basic functions of these applications. Uh, therefore I'd create a new so-called subnode or child node and call it basic functions of mind mapping. Here I create some more uh, child nodes to uh, reflect the functions. Just hit command return. This can be set in the preferences under the shortcuts tab if you like to use some other shortcuts. Uh, my basic idea here is to show you how to work with the mind map. Therefore I create a new subnode, call it working with the mind map and once I'm done I hit return and then return again to create another uh, node. Uh, create a couple more nodes here. You create in the center your idea, as I said before. I'd like to show you some shortcuts here. One we know already, the control return key, which creates new subnodes. You can set nodes to appear uh, in different colors. You can customize your nodes, your uh, nodes in the inspector, and you can even set a grow width. You see now that everything's a little messed here. We can turn on the smart layout feature or we can go to node and reorganize our nodes. This is a function that is not available in the free uh, version of MindNode. This is a pro only feature. The way it works, you select a node and then hit the shortcut to reorganize your nodes. Okay, now let's customize our nodes a little more. Just hit command B to uh, set the appearance of a node to be bold or we can even set different colors for our node. I open the inspector now and here in the stroke style menu we can set a stroke appearance and we can set a node to be in a different color or we can even set it to be filled. This looks a uh, little more emphasized. You can set the grow width. This has no effect to this node because it's a little too short, but to the lower right node here, we, when we set a different grow width, you see how it affects the node. We can even set the grow width via the uh, handlers on the right and left side of the node. We can set some text to be linked to somewhere like a file or a web page. I create a new node now, reorganize my nodes again and then re-edit this node. I add some text again. Notes can be linked to a file. I now enable as hyperlink and link to a web page. Okay, the name file is a little misleading here but I hope you get it. Now you see that the file has a link and when I click this um, the text here I will be redirected to the web page. Again, you can link to a file if you want or you can even create a new mail message which opens mail and you can uh, enter the text to a person and here in the document uh, section we can set a global information that affects the whole documents. Now I switch back to our mind map and create a new subnode. I'd like to show you some more intermediate or more advanced features of MindNode now. Therefore I create a new node again, in, call it intermediate and create a couple uh, subnodes here. I'd like to show you how to create new main nodes in the current document. This task is easily accomplished. Just click option, click somewhere and a new uh, main node is being created call it maybe to do and move it to wherever you like I move this one to the center of my current uh, mind map because uh, it's just a little project okay let's create a new child node 
Now I'd like to show you how you to create connections. Just hold down the shift key while uh, moving the mouse cursor from one node to another node. This can be done with every node on your current canvas and you can even customize the appearance of the connection by selecting different endpoint values here in the inspector. And you can click this little handle here to move this uh, connection around and you see that this busy curve now follows the movement when you uh, move the main nodes somewhere else. Okay, and the next thing I'd like to show you, I'd like to show you some more things on keyboard shortcuts. Okay, this is hard to type here. Okay, now new child mode. Okay, option return re-edits the currently selected uh, node. This can be toggled, you see here, just hit option return to re-edit your node. The next keyboard shortcut I really like is shift to create connections between nodes. I have shown you this one before and more keyboard shortcuts can be looked up in the manual. The manual can be found in the help menu and you here see the Mindnow Pro Help. Call it and there you find a lot of keyboard shortcuts which can be used inside Mindnow Pro or Mindnow. Okay, now let's turn on this Smart Lab feature. You see instantly all notes are being rearranged to fit into the current canvas. When you drag your nodes around, you see that the nodes are being automatically reorganized on the canvas. You can create new nodes and they will be automatically fit onto the canvas. Okay, last part of the screencast, where I'd like to show you a little bigger project I've created. This is called Digitale Visi. First I save this mind map and open the Digitale Visi mind map. I hope you're not afraid by using German terms here. You see this mind map is a little bigger. We have a new main node on the right side and have created a couple of connections and if you don't know where a connection goes to just click on the connection and you will see uh, where the connection starts and where it ends. The main node on the right side has been created by a little feature I'm using a lot. You can uh, create connections and when you drop the connection somewhere on the canvas where nothing else is, a new main node is being created like I'm showing you now. Boom, and we have a new main node. This is so easy. This is perfect if you're working or brainstorming on some idea and you're thinking go somewhere and you have an idea which doesn't fit into the current um, context, then you create a new main node uh, with a connection and you can brainstorm on that idea and then resort your ideas and this is perfect, easy and just great in my node. I'm very proud to say that we have three free licenses again to give away and you can go to our website to buy the application at a discounted value. You just look up the uh, MindNode uh, discount code, go to the website and buy it as usual. The free licenses can be obtained by going to our website and leaving us a comment on your favorite MindNode Pro feature or MindNode feature or you can retweet our tweet on Twitter just go to our uh, Twitter page, twitter.com slash maxscreencast and retweet our MindNote Pro tweet. This was it for the screencasts. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future. Bye.